So you're sitting there watching a YouTube video on the best class setup, and then you see this guy going off on people, dropping six kills, eight kills, 20 kills. Oh my God, he gets a nuke. Yeah, well, the problem is, did he ever get shot at? Probably not, because he's most likely in bot lobbies. And I'm actually kind of tired of this being considered okay for content, because it's really not, man. I don't play bot lobbies. I could still make a video every single day. I could still make guns look good. I could still actually play pretty well as well without reverse boosting or playing bots or anything like that. But today I'm going to tell you guys how they actually get these bot lobbies. And what I mean by bot lobbies is, watch this. Go, 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 not for a moment did I think he was going to die. I, I, I have a feeling that if he played in a recruit bot lobby on private match versus actual bots, he wouldn't be able to replicate this. I, I kind of guarantee it because for one, recruit bots actually shoot back at you. Two, the kids he's playing with, even though they're shooting back at him, I think they're worse than actual recruit bots and no, nothing to them, man. Nothing to them. It's just he's not in the right lobby. And there's two ways a lot of people do this, all right, without the use of a VPN, because a VPN makes three ways. We'll, we'll get into that quickly. A VPN, pretty much, people use, like, uh, no no skill-based matchmaking VPNs and stuff, and they, they get easier lobbies. They're not always going to get bot lobbies, but they do get easier lobbies, and a lot of people do that, and they play and stuff, and one lobby could be hard, the next lobby could be a little easier, but it's never complete bots like the clip you just saw, okay? The clip that you just saw, this guy... And, and, and I'm going to tell you how he does it. There's probably two ways, and I'm going to guarantee that I'm mostly right about this. And why do I know how to do this? Because back in Black Ops Cold War, when this was becoming popular, I figured out how to do it myself. I did it for a few videos, but every video that I did it in, I mentioned that I was playing in a bot lobby. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm not going to deceive you guys. And I love you guys, by the way, because whenever I get a comment of someone saying, oh, this is a bot lobby, you guys come to the rescue and, and you just jump on that dude like crazy. You say, no, it's not. All these enemies, look at the scoreboard they're killing they're they're dropping there's stuns everywhere flashes everywhere like the, like the people i actually play against i'm pretty sure are more skilled than me sometimes all right and you guys see that and i love that you jumped to the rescue i mean i, I really do appreciate that guys but let's talk about how to get an actual ball lobby there's two ways to do it one way call of duty kind of stopped it they were kind of smart enough to realize that a lot of people were doing it and they said no 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 we're not gonna allow this anymore but we'll get into that way in a minute because it's kind of obsolete at the moment some people are still trying it it's hilarious when you see it because you, you probably do see it once in a while but it's kind of obsolete but let's talk about the main way to do it so if you guys want to do it yourself i mean hey i'm not going to stop you a lot of people are doing it Go ahead and do it as well. I just, I don't condone it. I don't, and I won't watch videos of people in bot lobbies either. I hate it. It's boring. It's super boring. So anyone could do it. Okay. So what do you do? Well, you have to have two systems. One could be a really crappy computer. It doesn't really matter. Or you could have another console. You could have your old PlayStation 4 and your new PlayStation 5 or your old Xbox and your new Xbox. doesn't matter. As long as you have two systems, it could even be the same system. You could do it. And what do you do? Well, you have to have two copies of the game. So you kind of have to pay for another game for no reason. You buy the game just to do this. So there, there is kind of like a touch grass kind of moment right there. Please go outside. Stop wasting your money to get bot lobbies and pretend you're good because you're not. Everyone can see through it, man. So what do you do? Well, you have one account, which is your main account with your good KD, everything like that. It's your great account. And then you have another account. And on the other account is where you just go into a game. You don't kill yourself. You don't, don't do that because it's not going to work. What you have to do is you have to run around the map or walk around the map and shoot towards the enemy, but don't actually hit them, all right? Don't, don't, you have to play like 10 games, 20 games even, of you just walking around the map, shooting towards the enemy, getting a kill every so often so the game thinks you're actually trying, and just try to go like maybe five kills and 40 deaths. Shoot towards the enemy, shoot late, react late, do everything late. And the more you do this, the more the game is gonna try to pair you up with actual players who play like that. People who actually can't play the game that well because maybe they're toddlers, maybe they're four years old, <laughs> right? Like, so basically you're tricking the game into thinking that you're actually bad. So you have that account, the bad account, and then you have your main account, the good account. So what do you do? How do you get into these lobbies? Well, basically what you have to do with the first account is you have to go into a lobby, search for a game alone without your other account joining on you, search for a lobby, 
once you find a lobby, as long as it's not full, you could join really fast with your good account. And once your good account joins and you're in that lobby together, which could take a couple of tries. I remember once it took me over half an hour to do it when I was testing it. Crazy stuff, crazy stuff. People waste their time doing this. Just go get actual gameplay. It'll look more impressive, but yeah, then once your good account joins that lobby, you take the bot account and you leave. You just exit the lobby with that account only. Do not pull out the party. You just leave with that account. And then your main account, as long as nobody leaves that lobby, you're good to go. You're, you're in a skill-based matchmaking so low that the highest KD is probably a 0.25. And you're just ready to go. You're just ready to go off on people. You probably have a 2KD. You're going to drop these kids like nothing. You're going to get nukes like nothing. And then poor people that watch your video and they don't know what this is probably think you're really good. And you probably feel proud of yourself at too. You tap yourself on the back. You're like, oh, I'm amazing at this game. You're trash. You're actually trash. <laughs> I'm just going to say that, all right? I don't like it. Um, I, I, I don't care if people say they do it. I did it too. I said I did it. I have no respect for myself for doing that. I have no respect for anyone that does that at all. None whatsoever. Play the game legit. Just, just do it legit. Now, what's the other way that I was talking about before that Call of Duty got smart and they stopped? Well, the other way was basically a lot of people would reverse boost and reverse boosting by killing themselves over and over and over and over again. You used to see that on the kill feed a lot in older CODs, like maybe last year even you still saw it a bit. I still see it sometimes now and it's hilarious because this person's killing himself for no reason. The game knows you're killing yourself. The game knows you're trash. So don't do not do that because the game is not gonna put you in bot lobbies because you killed yourself a hundred times. They know what you're trying to do. Call of Duty got smart and they, and they stopped that. But what's the second way? Well, the second way that some people figured out that they could do, which is sort of not as easy to tell if they're in a bot lobby or not, you can't really tell sometimes because they don't go into a lobby where it's such a low KD, but they go into a lobby where they clearly are the best player and could probably hit clips and stuff like that. So what's the second way to do it? Well, you go on your regular account. You don't have a second account. You don't have a second system. You have nothing. You just go on your regular account and for five or six games, play really bad. Play really, really bad. Shoot towards the enemies. Don't kill the enemies. Kill one, one or two every so often, but just play really, really bad. Don't even sprint. Just walk around looking at the floor. Do whatever you got to do. Do that for five, six games. And the games are going to say, okay, we're going to adjust the skill-based matchmaking a little bit. They're not going to throw you into a lobby with a complete bot, but they're going to throw you into a lobby that's a lot lower in your KD. Now, one thing I noticed, and I'm actually kind of upset about, is that they allow you to join people mid-game, or they allow you to join your, your friends and stuff when they're in a lobby waiting for the game to start. What I think they should do, and at least to kind of counter this, which they probably won't counter this because it gets a lot of views and it gets people to want to play like that and it gets, it deceives everyone, you know? But what they should do is that you should only be able to join your friends when they're in the main menu, not when they're actually loading into a game or when they're in a lobby or anything like that. I don't think you should be allowed to join them in those cases because it's just, it, it, it allows all of this. It opens up a bunch of doors to all this kind of stuff. And if you guys are watching YouTube videos, and you see that the person that you're watching is getting a lot of kills over and over and over again, barely gets shot at ever, it's most likely a bot lobby. And it's on the rise, man. It's actually on the rise. And people are trying to make it normal. I, I don't get it. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I don't get it. I wanted to talk about this today because I've been getting some comments recently of people telling me that I play bot lobbies and stuff. And you could clearly see, clearly, clear as day, you could see my, my gameplays. They're not bot lobbies. <laughs> like, if if those are bot lobbies, maybe I'm just a bot because <laughs> they they're pretty sweaty to me. They're they're super sweaty to me. Now I'm not gonna go ahead and upload a game where I go like 20 and 40, which rarely happens. But I'm not gonna upload a game like that. There's no point. I'm gonna upload the best game that I got with that class. If my best game is 60 kills and 49 deaths. That's the gameplay I'm gonna upload for you guys. That's the gameplay you guys are gonna see. I don't cut out my deaths. I barely edit the gameplay. I like to keep the gameplay raw and with my actual reaction and with all the deaths. Now, if I die like 10 times in a row, I might cut that out because that, that'll be very boring for the viewer to watch. But I always show the scoreboard at the end. I, I, I just don't play bot lobbies. I don't, I don't know what else to say. Like, I just, if you think they're bot lobbies, you probably have a 3KD and you're just a god at COD. Cause like, yeah, they're, they're definitely not. But <clears throat> let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Should YouTubers, streamers, anyone, should they 
be allowed to upload bot lobby gameplay. Like, I'm not saying ban them, delete their YouTube and stuff because this is what they do. I just don't think it's fair. It, it's, it just, I don't know. It's, it's the easy way, you know? And I've never been the guy that likes to do the easy way. I, I always like to work for what I'm doing, you know? Like, it's just, I don't know what else to say, man. That, that, that's gonna be me right there, guys. I think I'm gonna end the video here because I could go on a rant for a very long time about this. It's just, it's a topic that's, that's really, really annoying. But if you guys wanted to know how to get an easy lobby, there you have it. You either get a second account or you play like trash for a lot of games in a row. Just, I don't know why you would do that. That's probably like over an hour of just playing like trash. So you could get one lobby that's good. And then when you do good, the game is gonna be like, ah, you know what, we're gonna put you in higher skill again. Cause yeah, you're you're not bad. And then you're gonna have to waste another hour. So that's two hours for two easy lobbies. Not worth it in my opinion, not worth it at all. But anyways guys, let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. Drop a like on this video if you guys enjoy it. Sub to the channel if you guys are new around here. With those notes turned on, we're on the road to 700K and you guys are gonna help me hit that. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Nick and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.